morning, everyone. Today's shave is brought to you by coffee. For coffee. Need coffee. More coffee. Okay. How's everybody doing? Today is Saturday, uh, May 19th, maybe? Yeah, 19th. Today, we're going to try some Williams mug in the Vanderhagen. It's been blooming for, you know, 20 minutes, I think, 25 minutes. I started this before I watched a video. I'm just pouring the rest of the bloom water. What I mean, the rest of, I'll do this in stages. I poured half the bloom water into my cup to soak my brush. So now, a little bit of that there, a little bit of that here. Uh, did I say I was using Williams soap? If not, I'm using Williams mug soap. Using a Gillette Tech Ball End. Somebody, I think Roy Smith had asked me if I had shimmed this before, and I have not. So we're going to shim it with a shim, <laughs> and we're going to put in a fresh feather blade. So I guess the way this works is the blade will go in. Get down in there, baby. Then the shim will go in. Then the base plate. Then we'll put the screws to her, baby. That's what she looks like. I like these little Gillette Tech ball ends. I actually have two of them. little Q-Shave Badger brush has been soaking in the bloom water. As you can see, it's a little soapy. So we're going to go for what? Well, with it being Williams, I got to go by eye instead of by a time. But when I bloom my Williams, I use hot water. I don't have any issues with Williams. Williams, I can get around here at the local supermarket for $1.50 a puck. <laughs> Can't beat that. The Gillette Tex, I think I can pick those up for about 10 bucks off of eBay. q -Save Badger Brush. Eight dollars. So is this a budget shave? I guess we could consider it a budget shave. This is what I have going on. So now it will go into the salsa bowl if I can get all this out. The dollar fifty salsa bowl. There's just a little bit of soap around the outside, but I don't think it's going to make much of a difference. So what's everybody's plans for this weekend? Me? Gonna go hang out with my lady friend. That's what we got going on. We're probably gonna run with this. I did not add any more water to the brush or the bowl or anything else. Just didn't look like it needed it. Hopefully we will keep this video in decent time. And I have not even prepped up my other water. Whoops. So, wet the face again. A little bit of cold water. Excuse me. I know, I'm bad for that. A little bit of cold water into the bowl. Like I say, I like to shave into a bowl and then dump the bowl into my turlet. I think it helps with not clogging up 
the sink. I don't know if it does or not. It's my theory and I'm sticking to it. Yes, I got her haircut. The day ago on uh, person cutting my hair, they'll use the wrong, what would you say, head. I usually go with three and a two, but when I, I mean, when he got into cutting my hair, he noticed that I started with, he, I mean, he started with a two, so we went two and one. It's summertime. No big deal, right? We'll wet down the razor and we'll go to it. Yeah, I can tell it's a little bit more efficient with the shim in it. Which is good. I do have about two and a half days growth. If no one has a vintage Gillette tech, and they want to throw about $10 out, just check on eBay. I'm not really going to check for stubble or anything on the first pass simply because first pass is just kind of like preheating your oven. Getting it ready for the real meal. <laughs> we'll beat the lather a little bit. I've noticed that with Williams that the more that you work it, the better off it gets. But as you can, well, it's kind of hard to see this side. It's adequate. Take some of the soap off too much. Or too much for me, I should say. I am also in the process of putting in we're going to be putting in a bigger badger not into a handle like I had two Omega 10049s so I took the bore out of it measured the inside which is 26 millimeters, by the way. And I'm going to order me a 26 millimeter badger knot. Oh, it looks like I got a weeper somewhere. Oh, well. and put it in that handle and see how I like it. I'm thinking that I will have about $30 into that for a 26 millimeter badger brush. We'll see how that experiment goes. We'll either go. Mm -hmm. 
Not too bad. Pretty good. Pretty good. Let's go for number three. Checking on my time. I don't like these videos running too awful long because who wants to sit here and look at this? Flash board, how do you like that brush? You like that brush? Hope you like the brush. Easy. Someone almost dropped my bowl. <laughs> Same guy that messed up my hair. <laughs> Williams mug soap. Don't go in the eye, which almost got it there. Love hate relationship. I actually use tap water this time. I usually use a filter water. But as you can see, I guess it's doing okay. I guess I'd rather see the peaks. See, it does okay. Too much. Get back off there. Third pass will be against the grain. Yeah, Roy, thanks for uh, suggesting shimming this. For sure, it certainly makes it uh, a little bit more efficient, which means that you could probably use a uh, more cost-effective blade. But then again, I picked up these blades on a Black Friday special. Got a hundred of them for, I know is less than 20 bucks. There's my weeper. I knew it was somewhere. I'm gonna go in there, maybe. Yep. But hey, this has been a fantabulous shave. A shaving rib rib was saying. I got a few weepers, but hey. Gonna pause, get cleaned up, get my post shave going on. Hang on, I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. More coffee. I had a funny, not so many funny moment yesterday. I had, uh, I think I told everybody the story about, you know, ordering another Edwin Jagger DE89. Just like my other one, only in a different color. So kind of the same, but only different. In order to do some uh, blade reviews. That way I can have two of the same razors, different colors, same shave, yada, yada, yada. You know, and I got a notice, what, last Friday on the 11th that I had to sign for it. And so I needed to be home. They didn't give me an option to go to the post office. Don't know why. So I went online, you know, the thing said you can go online, you know, set up for redelivery. I normally don't work Saturdays and I didn't work last Saturday, so I had it to redeliver on the 12th. Well, I hear the mail truck, I'm like, oh, you could get me some shave mail. Went to my mailbox and drove off, and I'm like, hmm. So, me, there's this little place on that little thing that said, you know, sign here. So I signed there and threw them in my mailbox. I knew it wouldn't work. I think I did that Monday. And, uh, you know, of course, I get a, the same thing in the mailbox that said, you know, you have to be here, yada, yada. So 
for, I think I put it in the box Wednesday or Thursday, you know, to re-deliver Friday, which was yesterday. Um, arranged to get off of work early, everything. Here comes the mail truck. Here I am again. It stops and it drives off again. I live in a cul-de-sac, so, you know, I go out there, you know, and I talk to the post, post guy. I'm like, hey, what's going on here? He's like, I'll deliver it tomorrow. I was like, I'm not going to be here tomorrow. That's why I wanted it delivered today. So, my package is still in mail jail. Post shave will be the Gillette aftershave gel. About yay much. Kind of looks like toothpaste. No. Not going to do anything else today. No homemade remedy or anything. Because I am popping in the shower here in just a little bit. Good shave. Enjoyed that. All right, everyone. Someone had commented, I think Abe said that when I get my other razor out of mail jail, he wants a three-way battle. Uh, till at seven o'clock, black, yellow, and green. I think I have, I have some black. I ordered some yellow. Um, I have a few green. So probably I'm gonna do that is do a black and yellow, or maybe a black and green, because I think those are supposed to be the most extremes, is the black one or the green one. So I'll do that. I shave one time with a green one, and that way I'll have all three of them on a second use, and then I'll do a comparison on the second use. Yeah. It's my channel. I'm going to do what I want to. <laughs> all right, everybody. Hope you have an enjoyable weekend. Um, be good, be kind, be nice to each other. Don't be a pain in the rump, be a dump, dump, dump. And baseball season, the Reds are still, you know, well, they did have a winning streak. Baseball season, Jim's out.